with Eddie Reed, having just come off stage after a fantastic set. Oh, thank you very much. Um, how much did you enjoy that? Oh, well, I mean, it's the thing I love doing, so when I get the chance to do it, and it, we've been a bit, like, um, starving for it, so it feels a little bit like getting a good drink of water or a big packet of biscuits. <laughs> just chowing down on them. It was good, yeah, lovely. Music's lovely biscuits. <laughs> so, have you done much since lockdown? No, I mean, uh, none of us have. The, all the gigs got cancelled and festivals got cancelled. and But, you know, that was past. So here we are, ever moving forward. We've, we've got to deal with all sorts of things in this world. But um, not having hope is not one of them. We have hope always. Have hope always, yeah. So, well, talk about tonight's set first. You've got a new dance partner <laughs> with, a, with a roadie. Well, I just saw an opportunity. <laughs> I thank him very much. Made an old woman very happy. <laughs> so, how much did you actually enjoy the set and being back in front of a live audience? Yeah, it's lovely. I mean, if you get um, the response, there's a, there's a real symbiotic thing going on. You know, people are kind of going with you with the songs and maybe, maybe just... Uh, I'm not really sure why it works, but it does work, you know, an appreciative audience. And, and festivals like this at Wickham... They're, they're the lifeblood for us, you know, really just for for musicians and also for people that appreciate music, you know, we need each other kind of thing, you know, we can't, one isn't better than the other, we need both, we need the, the appreciation and people that come to festivals like this are ready to just kind of get stuck in and sit about listening and, and maybe taking an interest in the words you're singing and the, and the, and the music rather than just... Um, you know, as something that they pass by on the street. It's when people come to the festival, they're committed. You know, especially here with the the mud slides. Absolutely slides. ready to pass. Really well. committed. You know, people. Yeah. It's and great. especially now after so many months where we've been locked down and not mm. able to enjoy music, people are ready for this, aren't they? Well, I didn't think they would be, but they are, and that's great. I was I was kind of worried that they wouldn't be. You know, it'd be just us on stage, kind of <laughs> three people. But yeah, you can tell that people are kind of wanting that kind of relief that that kind of commune with music gives you you know it's a I, you know i'm just like anyone else I, I i can stand in front of somebody and be transported and i just hope that i get to do that as well to other people that are listening if i can um transport myself and then some people come with me that's kind of the the aim so now moving forward now that we're out of lockdown what's next in the pipeline Oh, it's all in the hands of God to me, and um, I'll just hope that uh, I'm sure whatever it'll be will be exciting and adventuresome. It might just be me in the garden, but we'll see. If the, I think we've got a tour coming up, which has been postponed to the spring of next year, so it's 40 years. It's now 41 years <laughs> that I've been singing to audiences. So uh, there was a time 41 years ago where I was sitting at the side of a river in the south of France. And I decided to come and do something with music and my singing abilities then, and and it worked for me. Well, thank you very much, and we're delighted to have you back. Glad to be here. Thank, thank you. you.